Hello, welcome back to our channel AC Learning with Divya. Students, in today's video, let us solve half yearly practice question paper of class 5. Fill in the blanks. First question The predecessor of 18,29,400 is predecessor means Yes, when we subtract one number from a given number, we get its predecessor. It's nothing but a before number, right? So, what is the predecessor of 18,29,400? Yes, 18,29,000. Predecessor of 400 is 399. So, predecessor of 18,29,400 is 18,29,399. Next question. The smallest factor of a number is, smallest factor of a number is 1 and the greatest factor of a number is, yes, the number itself. Next, the numbers being added are called, the numbers which will be added are called as addends. A, D, D, E, N, D, yes, addends. Next question, when two rays meet at a common End point. They form an, they form an angle. Next, the Roman numeral for 99 is. Yes, there are some set of rules which need to be followed while writing no, new Roman numeral. That is, first we'll write hundred. What is the symbol for hundred? C. Before hundred, we'll write x which means if you write a smaller number before a greater number means it will be subtracted. So c means 100, x means 10. So 100 minus 10 will be 90. We got 90 but we want 99. So how will we write 9? We will write as i x. Here x means 10. Before x if we write i it will 1 will be subtracted. i means 1 right. So, 10 minus 1 will be 9. Xc will be 90. Ix will be 9. So, 99. Next one. 900 added to itself 90 times is. 900 added 90 times is repeated addition. Repeated addition is nothing but multiplication. Right? So, here we will bring out 3 zeros out first. 1, 2, 3. And then we will multiply 9 with 9. 9, 9 times is 81. So, 81,000 is the answer for 900 added 90 times. Solve. List the first four multiples of 13. So, here 13, 1 time is 13. 13, 2 times is 26. 13, 3 times is 39 and 13, 4 times is 52. So, the first 4 multiples of 13 are 13, 26, 39 and 52. Next, find the prime factors of 72 by factor 3 method. So, 72, 2 what times is 72? 2, 36 times is 72. Next, 2, 18 times is 36. Next, 2, 9 times is 18 and 3, 3 times is 9. So, the prime factors of 72 are 2 into 2, 2 into 2, into 2, into 3, into 3. 2 2 times is 4, 4 2 times is 8, 8 3 times is 
24 24 3 times is 72 next use the digit 5 0 1 6 9 3 to form the greatest and the smallest six digit number to form a greatest number what do we need to do yes we have to arrange the numbers from greatest digit to smallest digit which is the greatest digit among the given digits yes first is 9 next is 6 then 5 3 1 and 0 so the greatest number is 9 lakh 65310 to form the smallest number, we have to arrange the numbers from smallest to greatest. Here, the smallest number is 0. Can we write 0 as first number? No. If we write 0 as first number, then as we read the number, it becomes 5 digit number, not the 6 digit number. So, we can't write 0 at the first place. 0 before a number will not have its value, right? 0 after a number will have its value. So, we need to arrange the numbers from smallest to greatest but 0 we have to write at the second place not in the first place. So the smallest is 0 we will write at the second place. After 0 is 1. So we will write 1 first and then 0 at the second place. Next 3, 5, 6 and the greatest is 9 at the last. So here the smallest 6 digit number is 1 lakh. 3569. Next, identify each as a geometrical concept. A line which will have a starting point and an ending point and the line is fixed, then it is called as line segment. It cannot be extended in both the sides and it is called as line segment. Line segment. Whereas starting point is fixed but ending point is not fixed. It can keep on extending. This type of line is called as ray. Starting point is fixed but the ending point is not fixed. It can go on extending. Whereas a line can extend in both the ways. It can extend from both the ways. So, this type of line is called as line. So, these are the basic concepts which will have starting point and an ending point is called as line segment which has a starting point but does not has a ending point is called as array and a line which does not have either starting point or an ending point is called as line. It can extend on both the sides. Next, check whether the following numbers are divisible by 2, 5 and 9. We have learned the tests of divisibility, right? So, to check whether the given numbers are divisible by 5, 2, 5 and 9, here, what is the number at one's place? 6. So, 6 is an even number. So, if it is a number, if it is ending with even number, it is divisible by 2. So, it is divisible by 2. How do we check whether the number is divisible by 5 or not? We will check at one's place. If the number is ending with 0 or 5, then that number is divisible by 5. But here it is ending with 6. So, it is not divisible by 5. Sorry. As it's ending with 6, it is not divisible by 5. How do we check whether the given number is divisible by 9 or not? Yes, we'll add the given digits. That is 2 plus 5 plus 6. What is 2 plus 5? 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. Is 13 is divisible by 9? No. 9 one time is 9. 9 two times is 18. So, 13 is not divisible by 9. So, 256 is also not divisible by 
9. Next 21,208. Again, it's ending with even number. So it is divisible by 2. It's ending with 8, not by 0 or 5. So it is not divisible by 5. Next, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. And 5 plus 8 is 18. 18 is divisible by 9. Yes, 9 2 times is 18. So, 21,208 is divisible by 9. So, students, I hope this video was useful for you to practice for half yearly exam. Thanks for watching.